the mafia secrets secrecy of 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 this this it was stressful so so uh it's, it's just crazy just read read you won't believe what tyrese gibson just spilled about vin diesel in a jaw-dropping revelation tyree claims that vin diesel's secrets are even darker than we imagined and it's all connected to his scandalous parties with none other than diddy yes you heard that right from shocking allegations of inappropriate behavior to the explosive lawsuit by a, a former assistant things are spiraling out of control for the fast and furious star Ow because they are trying to normalize the devil. They are trying to populate. The devil is, is on the main stage at award shows and in every video. And let's not forget the wild feud with Dwayne The Rock Johnson that almost tore the Fast family apart. Is Vin Diesel hiding a secret life? Dive into the drama and find out all the juicy details that are sure to leave you stunned. Probably in a castle somewhere doing Caligula shit. And f***ing dudes. Yeah. You think so? <laughs> For sure. Really? You don't get those vibes from him? I didn't see Now, before we move on to the revelations from Tyrese Gibson, let's delve into the swirling storm surrounding Vin Diesel and his unexpected connection with Scene Diddy Combs. The scandalous charges against both these titans of the entertainment industry paint a grim picture of the dark underbelly of Hollywood's elite. Interestingly enough, Vin Diesel, known for his portrayal of the rough and rugged Dominic Toretto in the Fast and Furious franchise, finds himself in a precarious legal battle. His former assistant, Asta Jonasson, has filed a misconduct lawsuit dating back to the production of Fast Five in 2010. Now, moving on to the world of showbiz, Fast and Furious star Vin Diesel has been accused of sexual battery by his former assistant while working with him in 2010. The accusations are nothing short of harrowing. Jonathan alleges that Diesel forcibly groped her, kissed her chest, and engaged in indecent exposure in front of her in his hotel room. As the details of the lawsuit unfold, Jonathan recounts an incident at the St. Regis Hotel in Atlanta where she was left feeling trapped and terrified, ultimately leading to her firing mere hours later by Diesel's sister, Samantha Vincent. Actor Vin Diesel, best known for his roles in the movie franchise Fast and Furious, is being sued for alleged sexual battery. This leads us to the question, could it be that Diesel's scandalous behavior is just the tip of the iceberg? Insiders suggest that his close-knit relationship with Diddy is no coincidence. Both men are embroiled in lawsuits accusing them of heinous acts, and they're behind. The scene's camaraderie raises eyebrows. Diesel's infamous parties, often shrouded in secrecy, have reportedly been attended by Diddy, where the duo allegedly engaged in behavior that would shock their fans. Diddy, the hip-hop mogul, whose real name is Sean Combs, is no stranger to controversy himself. He faces a slew of lawsuits, including one from producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones, who claims Diddy harassed and coerced him during their time working on Diddy's 2023 album. Jones's allegations are chilling. He describes being subjected to constant unsolicited touching, coerced into procuring companions, and even incapacitated, waking up naked and confused. Um, this lawsuit is so long, it's so many, like... It's so many things that, you know, he's claiming Diddy did. As the story unfolds, it becomes evident that Diddy's legal troubles are not isolated incidents, but part of a disturbing pattern. His ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, also accused him of assault, physical abuse, and trafficking. The settlement of Cassie's lawsuit, combined with Jones' detailed accusations, paints a grim picture of a man who used his power and influence to manipulate and harm those around him. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap industry. What no one expected was the extent to which Diesel and Diddy's lives intersect. Both men are accused of using their positions to exploit and silence their victims, fostering environments of fear and intimidation. An insider revealed Vin and Diddy have been friends for years. They attend each other's parties, where anything goes. It's no surprise that their scandals are surfacing simultaneously. This leads us to another startling revelation, the wild parties. These gatherings, often attended by Hollywood's elite, were reportedly the scenes of unspeakable acts. Guests were said to be plied with substances and women were allegedly cursed into compromising situations. The issue, the issue is, it seems as though he wants to kind of like exert power and dominance over people who don't really want it. As the legal battles rage on, the public is left to wonder how deep this rabbit hole goes. Could it be that the luxurious lifestyles of these celebrities are merely facades hiding a darker reality? The lawsuits against Diesel and Diddy suggest that there is much more at stake than just their reputations. Their victims are seeking justice, and the details emerging are both disturbing and revealing. In a shocking twist, both Diesel and Diddy have vehemently denied the allegations. Diesel's lawyer, Brian Friedman, called the claims outlandish and stated that there is clear evidence refuting Jonathan's accusations. Similarly, 
Diddy's legal team has dismissed the lawsuits against him as pure fiction, asserting that they have indisputable proof of his innocence. Mm -hmm. I'm a fight for my reputation. I'm a fight for the honorable man I am, the righteous king that I am. I'm not perfect. However, the court of public opinion is not so easily swayed. The Me Too and Time's Up movements have empowered victims to come forward, and the legislation like the Speak Out Act has given them a platform to seek justice. Jonathan's courage in breaking her silence after years of fear and humiliation speaks volumes about the pervasive culture of silence and abuse in the entertainment industry. Interestingly enough, both Diesel and Diddy's defenses rely heavily on discrediting their accusers. Diesel's team points to Jonathan's short tenure and the long delay in filing the lawsuit, while Diddy's lawyers attack Jones' credibility and motivations. But could it be that these tactics are simply attempts to divert attention from the real issues at hand? As the public watches these legal dramas unfold, one cannot help but feel a sense of unease. The revelations from these lawsuits offer a glimpse into the lives of the rich and famous where power dynamics are skewed, and justice is often elusive. The question remains, how many more victims are out there? Too afraid to speak up? Let me tell you something else. Not only should he have apologized to Cassie in that video, he should have apologized to all of the general public that he lied to. This leads us to another critical point. The role of insiders and enablers, the allegations against Diesel and Diddy suggest that those around them were complicit in their actions. Samantha Vincent's role in Jonathan's firing and the alleged cover-up at One Race Productions indicate a systemic issue. Similarly, Jones claims about being told scene will be Jones' claims about being told seen will be seen highlight a culture of enabling and protecting powerful figures. In the midst of this turmoil, Tyrese Gibson has voiced his belief that these incidents are not isolated but indicative of a broader pattern within the entertainment industry. Gibson has been outspoken about the normalization of what he describes as devil worship. In Hollywood, suggesting that the scandals involving Vin Diesel and Scene Diddy Combs are symptomatic of a larger, more sinister trend. According to Gibson, they are trying to populate. The devil is on the main stage at award shows and in every video, signs and symbols. As the story unfolds, the tension between Vin Diesel and Dwayne The Rock Johnson adds another layer to the narrative. Their feud, which dates back to 2016, has been marked by public spats and cryptic social media posts. Johnson's infamous Candy Cass's Instagram post, widely believed to be directed at Diesel, hinted at underlying tensions on the set of the Fast and Furious franchise. They wouldn't be on set at the same time, they hate each other so bad. Really? They had to shoot different scenes and like, like shoot it so it looked like someone was there. They hate each other so much. This enmity, characterized by Johnson's public disdain and Diesel's defensive remarks, showcases Diesel's notoriously conflict-ridden nature. Diesel's attempts to explain the feud as tough love have done little to quell the rumors of his difficult behavior on set. I am 100% confirming to you guys around the world that yes, it is true. Interestingly enough, Gibson's comments about Hollywood's dark side seem to echo the chaotic atmosphere surrounding Diesel. Could it be that Diesel's notorious behavior is a microcosm of the entertainment industry's larger issues? Gibson certainly thinks so, describing a culture where devil worshippers are going above and beyond to promote the devil. This rhetoric may seem extreme, but it underscores the gravity with which Gibson views the situation. I'm gonna tell y'all, they pay me a lot of money to be in these movies. Nice. But my opinion about the movies that I do is not for sale. Mm. The allegations against Diesel and Diddy, coupled with Gibson's ominous warnings, paint a picture of an industry rife with scandal and moral decay. One insider revealed Vin and Diddy have been friends for years. They attend each other's parties where anything goes. This revelation aligns with the accusations that both men use their influence to exploit others, suggesting a deep-seated issue of power abuse within their social circles. As the legal battles continue, the public is left to ponder the true extent of these stars' alleged misconduct. The lawsuits and accusations offer a glimpse into the murky world of Hollywood's elite, where fame and power often overshadow justice and accountability. Could it be that the glamorous facade of these celebrities hides a much darker reality? The revelations from Gibson and the ongoing legal drama suggest that there is much more to uncover. As these stories develop, one can't help but wonder how many more secrets are lurking just beneath the surface, waiting to be exposed. Fans have been quick to voice their opinions on the swirling controversy surrounding Vin Diesel and his alleged behavior. One fan commented, Vin is only out for himself. The Fast Ace Furious franchise should have stopped after Paul Walker passed. Tyrese was a better friend to Paul. I stopped watching them after Paul's demise. This sentiment reflects a growing disillusionment among some fans who feel that the franchise lost its heart and soul after the tragic loss of Paul Walker, with Vin Diesel's actions further tarnishing their perception. Another fan remarked, The greatest trick the devil ever played was to convince us to keep letting Vin Diesel get roles after saving Private Ryan. This sharp critique underscores a broader discontent with Diesel's continued prominence in Hollywood, suggesting that his off-screen controversies have tainted his on-screen performances. The disillusionment extends beyond his recent scandals, hinting at a long-standing skepticism about Diesel's career trajectory. 
Adding to the mix, a particularly convoluted comment reads, heard about 10 years ago, that Dominic Toretto was bow prowling around with Sheldon Cooper. Now Parson wouldn't surprise me. B deal. Yeah, Coke doesn't surprise me. While the comment is muddled, it seems to highlight a general disbelief and cynicism about Diesel's rumored behavior and interactions, blending fact with a humorous disbelief that amplifies the absurdity of the ongoing scandal. So what do you think about the allegations against Vin Diesel and Scene Diddy Combs? Do you believe these revelations will finally bring accountability or will these powerful figures continue to evade justice? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Goodbye for now.